And new. And the new. Yes. Well, Johnny, first of all, how does that sound, man? Having a champion attached to your name? Uh, expected. That's pretty much it. It, it feels, it, it sounds like um, what it's supposed to sound like. I, I knew this, uh, during this whole week, I, I knew this was gonna happen. I had moments of doubt, but I worked through them like anybody else, any other hardworking man in the, in the universe, and now I'm a champion. Yeah, and I know you expected to win the belt eventually, but does it feel is, you know, as you expected it? Is it, is it even you know, more emotional? Is it? It's, the only emotion I felt, really, was when I saw my mom um, after, after I won the belt, because uh, she hates this sport. She hates that I fight. Yet she traveled halfway across the country to watch me fight for a belt, and she did not expect this shit. So just seeing my mom and, and being able to win this belt in front of her just meant a lot, her and my family. But for some reason, I saw my mom and I got emotional. Um, when I was in the cage and after I won, I, I was a little bit emotional. I was more excited, like, damn, I just took this from a legend, but it was expected. Were you surprised at all at how dominant you were? I mean, I feel like 50-45s across the table was, was it, uh, you know, I guess, was that what you were expecting? No, I, I expected it, man. Uh, I know a lot of haters and a lot of doubters doubted me. They said I was going to get finished. He even thought he was going to finish me within the three. But I knew he was wrong. Do you take some extra added level of joy knowing like a lot of your success was on the feet? Uh, no, it was expected, man. I, I, the way I spar, that's the way I spar. I, I, I brought my, it was a normal Thursday uh, night or a no, normal Thursday, de, uh, Thursday sparring session. Um, that's the reason I brought Dustin along because he watches my rounds and he keeps me grooving and moving and feeling good. And uh, it was just another Thursday sparring session. So thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, congratulations. Um, so I know you uh, said that you were going to take some time off, but um, you know yeah, I got to let this uh, shin heal. Um, just yeah, need to take a you know at least a couple weeks off. Or I mean, I'd fight next weekend, but like you'd have to pay me really good. Uh, is that is that belt going anywhere special? You're going to take it uh, anywhere? No, I don't know, bro. This, it's a pretty nice belt. Maybe I'll hang it up in my room or something. I don't know. Um, maybe hanging it up in uh, one of my sponsor's restaurants or give it to a sponsor. Nah, I'll keep it around in my room. Maybe frame it. I don't know, bro. It's just a belt. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, so, Johnny, so after the first round, right, you dropped Musashi. At that point, is that, you know, did you feel that you're like, hey, it's just another sparring session? Uh, no, I, when I walked in, I was like, this is another sparring session. Just everybody's watching it, and I'm getting paid a lot of money to do it. Yeah, no, 100%. And, you know, after you win the title, man, and you said you got emotional, you seen your mom and all that. So do you have, you know, have anybody else that you want to thank? You know, after uh, I, think, I thanked everybody I need to uh, in the post-fight, all my sponsors, uh, Functional Patterns, ATT, all my corners, um, all the people at ATT that helped me uh, get ready for this fight. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Everybody that believed in me, my, my circle. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you know, what's the you know, what's the next move? I know you said you kind of want to, you know, uh, you know, heal up on the injury and all that. So I, I don't know. That's not that's not really what's on my mind right this second. Um, I'll, I'll gather my senses and um, take take a little bit of time off, and then I'll revisit it whenever it needs to be revisited. Yeah. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pushing. Best in the world right there. Congrats on the win again. What's up, man? We just caught up with Danny Sabatello, your teammate. He spoke about uh, your guys' relationship. He was yeah. a wrestler at Purdue. You were out yeah. at the zoo, I believe. Yeah. Uh, he said you guys are going to be hammered for two weeks. Can you confirm this? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be hammered for two weeks. No? How are you I, might, I might have a, a glass of wine or something. I'm not a big uh, partier. Not a big... I used to be sober for a little bit, but uh, for this camp, um, I don't know. I would get a little uh, stressed here and there, and I... Actually, uh, my buddy Cody Law said that he was recovering better after having like a drink um, before uh, around like seven o'clock before you go to bed. Just one, nothing crazy. You're not getting like fucked up or nothing. Um, but I noticed I, I played around with it. And I'm kind of a, I try to be like a scientist when it comes to my recovery and, and training. So I gave it a try. I tried it here and there. It helped my recovery sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'm not a big partier. Um, I'll probably have like, I'll probably have a glass of wine or a beer uh, after this. Well deserved. Uh, your head movement was on points now. You were making a legend Musasi miss, but when he did connect, did you feel his power? Could you, you know? He didn't hit that hard. Um, he had a couple stiff jabs. Um, he had a good calf kick. He, he, he landed a calf kick pretty good. My, uh, my leg was kind of messed up, I think around the fourth or the fifth. But uh, no, nah, I definitely hit way harder than him. And you joined 
Your boy, Tiago Alves, is another middleweight champion in ATTs, the middleweight yeah. champion in Bare Knuckle. What yeah. can you say about him, Poye, Savatel, all these guys in your corner all week? Man, it's just inspiring. Uh, they keep me loose, they keep me myself, and they keep me relaxed during fight week, and it's just fun to be around them, man. Um, couldn't have a better corner, couldn't have a better uh, teammate, and man, it's just fun. And everyone's asking you about the belt, I guess I'll ask this last question. Is it heavier than expected? Is it heavier than I expected? <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, I took pictures with it um, before the fight, so I kind of expected, I knew I knew how much it weighed, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like a little preview. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty happy I'm the world champion of Bellator, and I uh, plan on keeping it that way. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. All right, a uh, question from the Zoom. Mills, go ahead. A new yes, middleweight Bellator champ. How does that sound, man? Uh, expected. Sounds right. Yeah. Yes, sir. It sounds right. And what about this, man? So for the fight, it played out a five-round war. So nothing could be debated. It wasn't a flash knockout. You pretty much dominated. Was that more successful for you or more fulfilling compared to you getting, like, a quick knockout and everybody questioning it? Of course, because I heard him, and I fucking dominated in the wrestling. I dominated in the grappling. Uh, and I went all five rounds, and I won every single round. So it just shuts up all the haters. It shuts up... Everybody, there's no question I'm the best middleweight in the world.